When you say goodnight to your teen, you assume they're alone in their room, but if they have any kind of digital device, a phone, a tablet, or a computer, they could be talking to anyone, anywhere. 10 News reporter Jenny Dean has been looking into the dangers of teens having unlimited use of the internet. I actually started researching a story on online dating for adults, but then I noticed an article that touted the best dating apps for teenagers. I have a 16 year old and I had no idea teens were being encouraged to use dating apps. But as I started doing some more digging, it wasn't just the dating apps that I found that parents need to worry about. The devil's always in the details. Just take a quick look at your teenager's phone and you'll probably find half a dozen social media apps. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Discord, all opening the doors of your kid's life to practically anyone in the world. You know, if you wouldn't let your kid walk down the block, go to the store by themselves, but you give them an unrestricted iPhone with a Snapchat account, your risk assessment, you know, needs updating. We know that young people, especially teenagers, can be impulsive. It's a function of their developing brain. So they're not always thinking about the long-term consequences of their behaviors. Police want to make sure parents and teens know two things. First, once a picture or video leaves your phone and is sent to someone else, it's out of your control. That lives on the internet forever. Second, someone can use that picture or video against you. We've seen attempts to extort kids for money. So what should a parent be doing? How do you balance respecting your teen's privacy with keeping them safe and out of trouble? They should not be given the same privacy as an adult because they don't have the maturity and just the life experience to deal with things in a way that we would assume is natural. USF health psychologist Heather Agazzi says this is why parents need to set the ground rules before there's a problem. They thrive when they have clear boundaries and expectations with associated consequences. She suggests one, taking the phone away overnight, and two, explaining what you consider appropriate to post on social media. You wouldn't leave your child at home unsupervised for a week when they're 14 years old and just trust that they're doing fine, trust that they're doing their laundry and they're going to bed on time and they're doing homework as they should. They need similar supervision to use these apps and to use them responsibly. So how do we know how much is too much? Well, the psychologist says it's time to intervene when kids are spending more than three hours a day on their devices. And if you happen to notice that there are any major changes in sleep patterns or their mood.